This is Avignon, one of the most fascinating towns of the Rhone Valley. The popes lived here for 70 years during the 14th century, and the old bridge is one of the most famous French landmarks. The great covered market of Avignon is a superb window of all that grows locally. The French beans and broad beans are harvested young and tender. The berries, especially the strawberries, are more delicate, sweeter, and more flavorsome than the ones I buy in Australia. This is Le Melon de Cavaillon, my favorite melon in the world. The aroma is extraordinary and it tastes so sweet. The popes of Avignon loved the wine so much that large vineyards were planted nearby. The Perrin family vineyard at Chateau Beaucastel produces one of the stars of French wines. Marc Perrin is one of seven members of the family working at the winery. Beaucastel is a very old estate. Um, the vine has been planted here for uh, 2,000 years. Uh, basically, the Romans brought the vine here. And the, the estate itself was built in 1680, so it has more than 400 years old. We were one of the first estates in France to go organic. Uh, so for more than 60 years, no pesticides or herbicides have been used in the vineyard here. We grow 13 different grape varieties, uh, and the wines that we make are uh, blends of all these grape varieties. This is really the tradition of Chateau Neuf du Pape. So this is 2012, and this is, uh, this is Syrah. Uh, we, we make each wine separately, and then we'll blend them in uh, April or May to make the final uh, wine. Uh, as you can see, it has a lot of red fruit, a lot of spice, uh, strawberry, blueberry, raspberry, black pepper. It's very young, but already very balanced and very drinkable. The taste of that grape um, is so pure, so beautiful, that um, for a chef like me, it's a great experience to taste something so good. Many French cooks have an ice cream maker, and this apricot ice cream with caramelized almonds is superb. I first cook one kilo of apricot with the juice of one orange, half a vanilla pod, and half a cup of sugar. They are cooked when soft. I blend the cold apricots to a puree, stir in the juice of one lemon and strain the preparation. I then fold in half a cup of whipped cream and churn the preparation in an ice cream maker. If you use sweet smelling ripe apricots, this dessert is outstanding. Then I cook a quarter of a cup of water with half a cup of caster sugar and half a teaspoon of vinegar until it's golden color. I mix in one cup of roasted almonds and cook for a minute or two before pouring onto a tray lined with greased baking pepper. I coarsely chop some of the caramelized almonds. Alternate layers of ice cream and caramelized almonds in a mold and place in the freezer for two hours. I carefully unmold the glass à l'abricot and garnish with caramelized almonds and whipped cream. It's so cool. Tomorrow we are in the very beautiful city of Gap and we discover some alpine specialties.